In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make a cactus little pot like this. Um, super fun and easy and just something to do because let's face it, a lot of us want something fun to do right now that'll make us feel happy. So I hope this makes you feel happy. Okay, so I have a canvas open. It's 2000 by 2000 pixels, 300 DPI. Um, I don't know what you guys want to use this for. For me, it's just to draw and for fun. So I'm not too concerned about the size of the canvas, but I just wanted to tell you in case you are concerned about it. If you want to print it, you must do at least 300 DPI. I have my blank canvas and I want to do the background layer here, but I'm actually not going to change the background color. I'm going to change this layer color and I am going to do kind of a mustardy color. And just a quick note, this tutorial is for intermediate level. You do need a basic understanding of Procreate before you get started. And I am using the latest version of Procreate. Um, it's August 3rd, um, 2020. So just so you know, um, if you're watching this a year or two from now, this was the version in 2020. I'm gonna pull up a color that's a little bit lighter than the color I have right now, and I wanna give the background some texture. So I'm gonna use a clipping mask over this layer. Um, one thing I recommend is naming your layers. I'm really bad about this, but it's important to do so you can just stay organized. I'm going into painting, and I'm gonna pull out fresco. And I'm just gonna give this some texture. Nothing crazy, I just want it to look a little bit different. I don't want it to just look like a solid color. All right, I'm happy with that. I'm gonna take that and merge it down. Now I want to draw the pot which my cactus will sit in. I have this terracotta color that I already pulled up. Feel free to mix your own colors. You Most likely if you use Procreate a lot, you have a general knowledge of colors. So I trust that you will pick the colors that look good together. I'm going to grab my monoline brush. I like to draw with a monoline brush. Some people like to do the technical pen instead. The monoline is my jam, so that's what I'm using. Use what you're comfortable drawing with. I'm going to make an oval. Oh my goodness. I'm going to make an oval and I'm gonna snap it. So how I do that is I make the shape and then I just keep on holding my pencil down and it creates the shape. So I have ellipse now, and I'm going to draw a straight line to make the pot. And again, I'm holding it down and it's snapping. Oops, that didn't do what I wanted it to do. It's kind of snapping that line so it's straight, and then I can move it how I want. And I'm gonna say like that. I'm not concerned with this being perfect. And then I'm gonna take this edge and draw to this edge. And again, I'm holding it down and I'm able to get a more um, even curve. I'm gonna color it in and then we're going to reduce the size of this just a bit. We don't want it taking up half of the page. It should, or half of the canvas. It should take about maybe a third of it and put it right there. And we can decorate it later. We're gonna start with our cactus now. Grab a green color. I like to go darker because we're gonna use clipping masks to lighten. So go a little bit darker. And the cactus shape is kind of like a teardrop, or at least that's the kind of cactus we're doing today. And just make those teardrop shapes. And there's usually one coming off of another one, some smaller ones. You don't have to follow exactly uh, what I've been doing. Okay, so we have the basic shapes and we just wanna fill these in. Just dragging my color. And one thing to mention is decide where your light source is coming from for your drawing. It'll really help bring it to life. It doesn't have to be 100% realistic, but it'll make it more interesting to look at. For me, I'm gonna say that my light source is coming from the left-hand side. So I'm gonna need to remember this when I start shading it and adding some texture. I'm gonna go 
grab a clipping mask again. If you guys haven't noticed, I really like clipping masks. Um, and I really like charcoal texture. So I'm gonna go to Carbon Stick and you should have that. It's one of the brushes that comes with Procreate. And I'm going to lighten my color slightly. We're not getting crazy light, but just lighter than what we have right now. And I'm just going to increase my brush, I would say about eight. And I'm just adding in some texture. And that green is pretty bright, so I want to mellow it out a little bit. I'm going to go over here. There we go. It's a little better. Now I want to add some interest. So I'm going to get a little darker color. I'm going to decrease my brush to about five. I'm going to zoom in. And then I'm going to think about this as the light would hit it. So if the light was coming from the left-hand side, it would be kind of darker over here and probably right here. This would be a little darker. So just think about where the light would hit. If you're not sure, go outside on a sunny day and just observe the light and how it touches things and what shadows it leaves. It's a really good exercise to do as an artist. Okay. So we have those down and then I do want to work on the light. So I'm going to do a couple highlights. I'm going to grab a, a pretty light color and decrease a little bit and the light. Oops, that's way too much. So you can also play with the opacity here. If I reduce the opacity, I'm going to get not as bright. And I'm just going to let the light touch these areas. A little bit um, let's say a little light kind of peeked in right here okay awesome so merge down the clipping mask and name this cactus and name this pot Okay, now we are going to do the little soil in the pot. And I'm just going to grab my monoline pen, or brush, sorry, and select a brown, kind of a dark brown. If you hear barking, that is our dog. She barks a lot now. It's kind of frustrating. So just outline this area. I just put lotion on my hands and it's getting all over this. Then I want to add a clipping mask. Get this lighter color here. And let's go back to the carbon stick. Just kind of put some texture in there. Just make it a little more interesting. You don't have to get crazy. And then grab a darker color just to show that there is a shadow here because of the cactus. Okay, now we are going to, let's, we're gonna put some, a design on our pot. I'm gonna use a clipping mask again, and the reason I'm using a clipping mask is because when I draw a line, I want it to stay inside of the pot. Otherwise, it would go off the edge a little bit. I'm gonna go back to my monoline brush. And I'm just gonna make kind of a curve, oops. And I'm gonna hold it so it snaps into place and smooths out. And then I'm gonna do that again down here. Perfect. Then I am going to do another line. Another line here. Hold it. That one was kind of funky. I wanna be a little closer. There we go. Then I'm going to do some triangles. I'm just going to make some kind of design. Feel free to make any design you want in here. These are just triangles. You can, if you are really concerned about the lines being straight, just hold and you'll have a perfectly straight line. I am not concerned about that, so I'm just going to keep going. Okay, 
Then I'm gonna add a little bit of color. I think kind of like a dusty blue I would like to see in here just to give it some interest. Again, feel free to play with the design and make it how you want it to be. I'm gonna go and get white again and just do some dots. This is your pot. You can make it look like the decor in your home. You can do it plain if you want. I just think it's fun to play with some patterns. Okay, and then one last thing we wanna do, I'm gonna merge this down so that the design is part of the pot now. I wanna add a light source coming in and I'm going to go, I'm gonna hold down, it's gonna select that color and then I'm gonna lighten that color a bit. And again, I'm gonna grab my charcoal, my carbon stick and just make a little light over here so you can see that our light source is coming in from the left. So it's lighting up this side of the pot a little bit. Okay. Now we need to put some little pricks <laughs> or spikes on our cactus. I'm not gonna use a clipping mask because um, we want it to go over the cactus, right? So if I used a clipping mask, you wouldn't see the spike out here. It would only show you what was inside of here. Grab kind of a gray color and I'm actually gonna go to my technical pen for this. And I'm just making, oops, let's do a little darker color. And reduce the brush size to about five. And it's just little spikes and dots. Make sure every once in a while you go out to the side. Okay, once you're happy with all your little pricks, you're going to merge down if you wanna connect them. And then we're just gonna do one last thing and that's adding in a shadow. So it is completing, we're seeing the light over here so we would see a shadow. I'm not gonna do the whole shadow of the cactus, just a small shadow of this pot. I'm gonna grab this kind of gray tone. I'm actually gonna make it kind of blue. Something dark, cause I am gonna use a clipping mask again. I really like clipping masks. <laughs> so monoline and this layer needs to be under the pot. So drag it under the pot. And I'm just gonna make an oval and connect it. Oops, sorry. I'm gonna make an oval and connect it so it snaps. And I'm gonna move it just a bit. I want it just right under this. I'm gonna color it in. Then again, add a layer, clipping mask. Uh, charcoal, carbon stick, make it a little lighter. So just give it a little bit of texture, increase that brush size. And we have this little shadow. I'm actually gonna add, make it a little more gray. Perfect. And you can even make the shadow, oops, sorry. Merge it down before you do that. Take that shadow and make it a little bit smaller if you'd like. You're just showing that there is light coming from over here. So it would cast a shadow over here. And there you have it. We have completed our cactus and I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and it brought you a little joy for the day. Thanks for watching.